yo, yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, it's your boy, Joy from Joe Genesis, and thanks for tuning in. We're going to be continuing off with some Detroit Become Human. We are on episode 9 currently, and right now we're going to be playing with Connor. So, the last episode, which is episode 8, we played with uh, Marcus, and Marcus was on a mission to find Jericho, and we were pretty scared at some points during that during the episode, I'm not going to lie, so, you know... It was pretty interesting. If you haven't seen that, just check that in. It's going to be in the playlist, so it's easy for you to track down and see. So we're just going to go ahead and play the nest. We're going to be using Connor, so see you guys once it starts. Okay. Shit, kid. Hey, Hank. My man. My man. My man. I like Hank a lot. with you. Are we fighting? Oh yeah, we were at the office. And he got pissed, so... Oh, uh, we gotta make things right. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We gonna buy him some food? You wanna flood Nah, this, I know this dude ain't gonna talk if I'm here. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Who is he? Abda Pedro. Uh, what's Pedro? Yeah, Pedro. Criminal record, illegal gambling, and fraud. He's unemployed. Born 2005. Oh, I guess I'm gonna scan this guy too. I already know who Hank is. Breach your height. Okay. So it seems like everybody here got a got a criminal record, except for the police, obviously. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Alright. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. He just... He's looking for information. What is your problem? You gotta make things right. Don't you ever do as you're told? Nah, homie. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Sorry, man. I'm just gonna flat out say it. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? He's happy. You That's all that matters oh. to me. Thanks, Gary. I'm starting. scanning the food or not I already know who this guy is I already scanned all right I'll leave that thing here oh, not a chance follows me everywhere got a point let's go poodle See? you know what I'm just gonna let him enjoy his meal Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Come on. Alright, free meal. He didn't pay. You didn't pay for your That's meal. That's true. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Okay. Connor is about to ask a lot of questions. And he's gonna annoy this guy. Alright, let's ask about the highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. Hey. And I don't like filling out paperwork for damage. Okay. He likes me. He likes me. He doesn't want to admit it, but he likes me. Uh, you know what? Let's ask about deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. 
This conversation is going pretty good. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Probably not. What about Connor? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird <laughs> voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. I love Hank, man. Hank is so cool. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah, I died. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. Oh, you're not gonna. I guess you've done all your homework. Not right? gonna say the part you died in the process. Everything there is to know about me. Lie. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. Come on. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. All my hard work is gone away. away. You should go have a look. All my hard work down the I'll drain. You I'll be in the car if you need me. Why are you acting so weird all of a sudden? I'm supposed to be our friend, man. Freaking androids. Hey, Connor. Freaking androids. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Huh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? Don't come. No. I'm coming. Alright then. Alright then, let's go. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this so floor. Sounds about to be action. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh Christ, if we have to investigate every time some Feathers, rock pigeon. But he hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Yup. Just by Correct. closing your eyes? Correct. Hmm. You're kinda jealous. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Come on, Hank. Show us how it's done. Okay. No, I'm just gonna stay behind him. I should probably get his back and look in this room. I don't gotta read this. Nope. We don't read stuff in time of action. Yo, that's a maze. So we gotta find the suspect. Where's Hank? Okay. Where's... What the fuck is this? Yo, there's, there's a lot of birds, man. Jesus, this place stinks. Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Second hand initials, RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Well, there's another maze right there. Is that UFO? UFO. Urban farms in Detroit. Okay. Heart in the city. Three 
recently moved. Okay. I need some fresh air. That's the maze that's been everywhere. Alright, let's browse this. He's just drawing mazes everywhere. I have a feeling he's gonna come from the back. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Firm suspect is a deviant and find the cause of a loud noise. It's empty. Why you close it back? Just leave it open. There is something here. ID, Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Alright, so we know he's a droid. He's probably a deviant because if he can fake an ID, yeah, let's check the fridge. Let's see what you got in there. Well, ain't no food. Jesus, I hate these things. So, definitely. That is an android. Let's analyze this. A lot of birds. A lot of bird food. Yeah, this is the part that I don't know. Is it really gonna check in there? Blue blood. I see blue blood. I see blue blood. I'm gonna go to the wall for it. Real books. I thought I was the last guy. RE9, RE9. Any idea what it means? RE9. Before, though. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Me don't have no idea. Looks like mazes or something. That's what the book is for, maybe. Obsessive compulsive writing. He took out his his um his tracker or whatever, the Android thing. LED bio component. Its LED is in the sink. So it's a deviant. Not surprised it was an android. Probably cut off no the hair too. Yo, don't lick bitches. that. Don't don't lick the blood, bro. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. All right, let's analyze. A lot of analysis in this. Recently disturbed. Something made that noise. Let's see what happens. Okay, so L2, no, R2. Wait, there's something. Yeah, someone was writing something. Now the androids knew all of this stuff, man. That's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Something probably happened. 
Ran into the living room. Come on, Hank. Hank, where you at? Yo, the door is open. Let me close the door real quick. Where's Hank? Well, you couldn't have left if Hank was still here. Let's analyze this one. Skid mark. That's recent. That's a fingerprint right there. Yeah, lots of bird poop. Everywhere, man. That's nasty. Definitely can't have an android as a pet. Nope. Metal hook. Something broken. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This time we snitching. We are snitching. Ain't no. We are snitching. When it says it's full suspect, what's it do? Yo, we gotta close the door first, though. Ah, uh, this guy might just escape. Come on, Hank. We are gonna snitch this time. Ain't nobody telling me no snitching. Alright, let's go, let's go, Hank. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Nah, this is gonna be fun. Passport risky. Alright, let's go. Let's do passport risky. Where'd you go? I'm just gonna go fast but risky all the time. Let me run in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Come on. We gotta catch this guy, man. We have got to catch this guy. Android, they can, they can do crazy stuff. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, got him. Come on. Too fast for risky. You old! Keep up! We got the droids. Yo, we gotta catch him. We can't let him go. Hey, be careful, Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's catch this dude, let's catch this dude. Where is he, where is he, where is he? Come on, you can't. Oh, Hank! Hank, Hank! Oh! Chance of survival, 89. Let's go. Hank, I'm sorry, man. We 
gotta catch this dude. He can't, he can't go, he can't go. We can't lose him. We lost him. Please. No. I've done nothing wrong. We don't catch you, man. Don't rush. I want to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. I don't give two shits. Model 8740049. He's gonna drop. He is gonna drop. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. He's gonna drop. He's gonna drop. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans. Hank, why are you making me feel bad, man? I said, shut up! Hank, I saw you had an 89% chance, Come man. On. That's higher than 50. That's higher than half percent. What would you guys have done? Let me know in the comments. Alright. Uh, I said this. I said it. Holy shit. There was no point. There was absolutely no point. Fucking androids. Now he hates me. <sighs> Screw this shit, man. Rupert committed suicide. What do you guys think I should have done there? Because I would have saved... Right now, I'm thinking about it. The best decision... Was to save Hank because if I saved Hank, we still would have never caught that guy and never got information. I just felt bad because last time I was supposed to get information from the other android and he committed suicide. So that's this one committed suicide as well. So at this point, I'm just ranting. I don't know what to do. I should have saved Hank and Hank would have probably been a better friend. Now I lost his trust, we lost the mission. So regardless, things are not looking pretty good for us. Well, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. But that's all the time I have for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys love the content, hit the like button. Let me know some stuff down in the comments. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Once again, it's your boy George from Joe Genesis. Sending y'all peace and love. Peace out.